Hey friends, Gator Mom here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today we're talking all about this Sky Essential Pouch from Dagny Dover. I'm gonna walk you through the pouch, show you what fits inside, and then compare it to some of the Dagny Dover classic wallets. All right, let's go ahead and start unpacking this pouch first so I can show you exactly what fits inside. I love this pouch. I've been using it a lot, throwing it in bigger bags and then pulling it out when I just need to pop in a store really quick or for like a quick trip somewhere. It is so cute and compact, yet it has so much organization on the inside that it really just holds all of the basics and has everything I need in a nice little compact area. So right here on the side, I'll go ahead and take this off so it's not flopping around anymore. This is a big keychain I got when I was visiting Anna Maria um, Island for a beach vacation over the summer. It is the cutest little beaded key ring. Um, I don't have a link or anything to it because it was in a little boutique shop, but I have this attached here just with my house key. I always have my car key attached to this particular ring, but I took it off and put it inside the pouch just so it's one less thing kind of on the outside. I like attaching this though to the little D-ring on the side because it makes it really easy for me to just throw it over like my arm and then I can carry the pouch that way. So it's awesome. I love to have that little kind of grab and go option here on the side. Like I stated earlier, this here is the heather gray color in the neoprene material. This is my favorite one, hands down. I love this pouch in the neoprene. I will talk in just a second on these organic cotton ones as well. These are my favorite, hands down, if I had to compare the two. I just really like the way they feel, and I'm obsessed with Dagny Dover's neoprene. On the side over here, you do have a um, little rubber, like a Dagny Dover logo tag, and then you don't have any outside pockets at all. You just have that one little ring there that I mentioned. The zipper is the classic chunky Dagny Dover zipper. It goes down to not exactly halfway on the pouch, but up there on the side, but it does, like I said, make that little curve right there. When you unzip the pouch, it opens up nice and wide. You can really fit a lot down in there. Like I mentioned earlier, you can just grab everything that you need really easily. Right here on top, I just have my face mask. This one is from Tory Burch. I love these. They are, they go in and out of stock, so I'm not sure if they're available at the moment, but it has a little um, rubber circle thing here by the ears that you can adjust. So I really like the way these fit and they're crazy soft. So that's the one I'm using at the moment, but that changes all the time. <laughs> but inside the pouch, you also have little pockets, you have card slots, you have a ring here. So I'm gonna pull everything out and then hopefully show you up close more of the internal organization of it. Right here tucked on the side, just in the main part of the pouch, I have a small body shop hand cream. That one is just an orange scent. I also have a um, sun bum, baby bum hand sanitizer. I love the way this smells. It is a coconut, like beachy type fragrance, but it's just a spray hand, sanit hand sanitizer. Then I also have attached to the ring inside the pouch right there, my car key, which I just mentioned. And then I have my lippy clip, which is in the Hello Happy Mom um, print collaboration there. I think it's so sweet. I also have my chapstick tucked down in there. That is another sun bum product, or sun bum product. It's just a coconut um, like sunscreen lip balm. I have both of those. I will detach here so that you can see it more up close. I found that they were just easier to have tucked inside the pouch. One of the less things to kind of be on the outside of the pouch. So there you go. So that's tucked in. Then right next to that clip there, you have a long, big Velcro pocket. It's right here. It's tucked down inside. It's perfect to hold like small essentials. I just have down in the pocket, as you can see, my hand goes all the way down. Um, two little pieces of gum, a hair tie. I also have my pill case because I always tend to keep that on me in case I get a headache or something. And that's all I have down in there, but you can really fit a lot more in there. The pocket is as deep as the pouch goes. So as you can see with it Velcroing there, nothing will really fall out of it. That's a really good pocket also. If you want to just exclusively use it for something like your face mask, you can really tuck that all the way down in there and then Velcro it back and it's secure away from everything else in your bag. So love that pocket. On the other side of the pouch, 
you have, which I'm not sure if you can see there, you have two card slots. I have six cards in each of those card slots. So they're very, very big. You can really stuff them full. And then directly behind that, you have a big long pocket. This one does not have any Velcro or anything like that. I will tell you when you have cards in the front of it though, it makes it a little harder to slip things behind it, but it's perfect for like receipts or anything small like that. If you take the cards out of that pocket, which I will do really quickly over here, you have a little bit more give in this pocket and it's the perfect size for your cell phone. If you wanted that to be kind of secured down in your pouch as well, you can do that. And this is an iPhone 11 Pro. And as you can see, it fits perfectly down in there. Now, if you have a like wider phone, you might have a little bit of trouble because I think I have my phone just barely in there. So just to kind of give you an idea, I don't really use that pocket for my phone just because I have my cards down in there. So like I said, it makes the pocket a little tight. Um, right here next to it, you also have one little loop and I just had my um, lip gloss tucked in that loop. So it's the perfect size for that or a chapstick or a pen or whatever you need in there. So that's the pouch there in a nutshell. I hope you guys could really see the inside of it well. It's really hard to capture it on camera when it's so deep like this. But basically you got pockets, you have a little loop here and tons of different ways to organize it. So let's talk about the different options. So you have this one here in the heather gray neoprene material, which is my favorite. They also have a solid black neoprene, which I bet is so nice. Then you have the organic cotton options, which match the Vita tote that just came out. I went ahead and grabbed one of each because I wasn't sure which one I was gonna like, but I must tell you my favorite has to be the neoprene. I just, I love it. I don't, I don't dislike these by any means, but I just kind of favor the neoprene for whatever reason. But I thought I would show you just really quickly what these look like inside as well. Same structure, it's designed exactly the same. You have the same card pockets there on the side, the same loop inside, and then you have your Velcro pocket over there on the other side. So just kind of depends what you like. The organic cotton is so soft, but yet really structured. It's a nice material for sure. But my favorite, like I said, goes to the neoprene. <laughs> I wanna show really briefly how this sky pouch compares to the Dagny Dover wallets. I know some of you already have these wallets and wanna know how it compares size-wise to the pouch, because it's a little hard to tell online. If you all wanna see a in-depth review on all of the Dagny Dover wallets, let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to do that one for you. I don't wanna get into every single wallet today just um, to keep this video short and kind of focused on this one for now, but I will show you um, with them side by size, how they compare. This one here is the Travel Accordion Wallet, I believe is what it's called. Um, and it's probably the closest in size to the pouch. As you can see here, it's almost the same lengthwise. Um, the pouch is just a little bit bigger and a little bit wider there on the side. So if you have any of these wallets, you're not gonna have trouble putting it down inside this pouch. Um, so if that's just kind of an option that you want, you can have that as well. So that one fits fine. Um, then you have the slim wallet here. Now this one, I believe, yes, this one is a little bit longer than the sky pouch. So it just made a liar out of me. <laughs> I thought for sure that one was gonna fit down inside as well, but it won't. Um, I don't know why you'd want necessarily a big wallet when you're carrying this little pouch, um, but I thought I would show you anyways, for those of you that were curious. This is another great option um, from Dagny also. And then of course the two small wallets, I'll just kind of put these side by side so that you can see how much bigger the pouch is in comparison um, to their smaller ones. That there is the card case and this here is the smaller accordion wallet there. So there you have it. This, this one is really great too if you want to attach it to the inside of the little loop here. It's a great option if you have more cards than what's gonna fit inside the wallet or, or inside the pouch and you just want some extra, you can also even take the wallet and tuck it in to the Velcro pouch here. And it's another option. So tons of different things you can do. This one would be great paired with it um, if you're looking for you know, another option. There you have it. If you guys have any questions, I think I covered pretty much everything about this little pouch here. Um, I will have links to everything below. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out. I'm always happy to help.
For now, have a great day and I'll talk to you on my next video.